Hello and welcome to Houdini Quick Tips. <coughs> In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to group the points based on the camera first. So I just created a grid and just let's crank up the rows and columns to 100 and also create a camera from this view. The next step is just to create a volume node and just give it a name like density and initial value to one so we are able to see it in viewport and from this uh, second tab from camera I just need to select my camera and if, if you see here you have the volume but I need to change the zinier a little bit and also template the grid and crank up the Z far because all the points should be inside the volume to be able to group them. The next step is just to convert this volume to polygons. So I'm um, just use the volume bound. So here is the first term converted to polygon. Next I'm going to create a group, just connect this one and this one and change the group type to points and turn on the keep in bounding regions select the third option as you can see the points inside the camera first and now is in the group so also you have few options here in the volume if for example if you want to change the padding uh, you just need to change the windows window x this is the minus this is the X positive, this is the button and this is the top of the camera. So let's just create a color. Change the color to red and also the group should be group 1. So as you can see, uh, now all the points inside group 1 have a color red. So this technique is very useful if you want to do some kind of simulation, for example, based on your camera first term. Imagine you have a big landscape and you just want to emit smoke or particles to do some kind of, I don't know, effect. So in this case, you don't need to simulate this area. So you just need to emit the particles or points based on the, the camera first term. So this is uh, one way to do it. Another way is to just turn off this volume bound. As you can see here in volume, if I just crank down the volume sampling, this is the volume resolution actually, it doesn't affect the, the result. But in the second option, it's only based on the volume. So we don't convert it to polygons like this one. I'm going to turn, turn off this, one, this volume bound node and go to the group again and select the fourth option and let me just crank up a little bit ISO surface as you can see now we have a little bit smoother edges the reason is uh, this one the volume resolution is very important if you crank it down you get more smooth and low quality camera first term and if you crank it up you get better result so yeah that's it but uh, one option we have here is uh, just invert for the bounding volume you can invert your group and but in this uh, bounding object we don't have it so we cannot invert the group here another way to do it if you want to for example to delete all the geometry outside this one you have few ways you just need to have a group combine and select the group one here and group one here and just only ch uh, change the the option to equals all but so now all the points are outside is in this group and you can just delete it or do your simulation based on the points inside this group so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching